Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. This tutorial discusses the use of external interrupts with the Arduino at the example of a touch sensor pad. The touch sensor pad that comes with the Arduino kit is based on capacitance. So when nobody touches the pad or it is not in close proximity to any other object, the pad has a certain capacitance. When you bring a finger in close contact, or it doesn't even have to touch, it just needs to be nearby, then the capacitance of the uh, sensor pad changes. This change can be detected with various methods. The sensor pad that comes with the Arduino kit uses a dedicated integrated circuit, which measures the resonance frequency of an oscillator that is based on the capacitance of this pad. So if the capacitance changes, then we get a different oscillation. So without the finger on the pad, we may get a specific frequency. Once an object is close or the finger is touching it, then the frequency changes. This change can be detected and translated into, the, into a voltage change on an output pin. This type of sensor is ideal for use together with external uh, interrupts which can be triggered by such a voltage change on a pin. This shows the principal functionality of an internal interrupt. As the Arduino main loop is being executed, an external interrupt can be triggered by a voltage change on an interrupt capable pin of the Arduino. So in the case of the uh, touch sensor pad, whenever the sensor pad is being touched, the signal goes low. So we can program the interrupt pin to jump into an interrupt service routine and execute that when this event occurs at the pin. Once the interrupt service routine has been executed, the main loop proceeds with its execution. This enables to promptly respond to a touchpad event without burdening the Arduino main loop with constant queries about the condition of the sensor-related pin. The Arduino Uno has two hardware interrupt pins. These are uh, the digital pins 2 and 3. And interrupt number 0 can be attached to D2 and interrupt 1 can be, can be attached to D3. So we will use um, interrupt 0 on pin 2. So for the um, uh, touchpad, all you have to do is connect the pin labeled S on its back to pin 2. 2 and then a G to ground and V to 5 volts and that is all that's needed. The functions that will be used to uh, control the interrupts is uh, first we have to make the uh, pin an input so we just use the pin mode function with the with pin number 2 and we um, uh, set, uh, set it to input and then we need to attach the interrupt to this pin and this is done with the attach interrupt function which has as parameters the interrupt number so that would be zero in this case and then the interrupt service routine which is the name of the function that we will define to deal with the touchpad events and then uh, we need to enter a pin event mode there are four possibilities we can specify low change rising or falling that means when we put in low then the interrupt is triggered whenever the pin is low change simply tri triggers the interrupt when the voltage changes and then finally we can select whether we only want an interrupt when the change is rising or falling so that means when we go from 0 to 5 or from 5 to 0. So for the touchpad sensor we will use the uh, change uh, event mode because we're only interested in uh, sensing when a touch event occurs uh, so that automatically uh, debounces the uh, touchpad sensor uh, would we use low instead, then um, we, we would get interrupts triggered as long as the finger is on the touchpad and so we would get multiple events um, every time you would touch it. Let's have a look at the Arduino code. First we define the interrupt number, 0. Then we define the uh, touchpad pin number, which is 2, right, that is that uh, interrupt 0 is connected to, to digital pin 2. We also define the LED pin. We're using the built-in LED. And then we define a byte 
uh, variable uh, called touchpad event flag. This uh, we will use to um, to tell the main loop whenever the interrupt was triggered. This needs to be volatile, uh, a volatile variable because we are using it inside the interrupt service routine. Here we have the setup function, pin mode, uh, then we define the LED pin as an output, then the touchpad pin as an input. Uh, we also start serial communication at uh, 9600 baud. And then finally we use the attach interrupt function uh, where we attach to that interrupt number that we defined above the interrupt service routine that is uh, below. And we use the uh, pin mode uh, change so that the interrupt is only triggered whenever the voltage on the pin actually changes. Now let's have a look at the interrupt service routine. It's down here. So in the interrupt service routine, we want to react to two events. One is um, the touchpad pin goes low. That is the moment when somebody touches the pad. In that case, we want to turn the LED on. And we also set the uh, touchpad event flag to 1. The other event is is that we go from low to high. That is when the person lets the pad go, removes the finger. In that case, we want to turn the LED off. That's what we're doing here. So when the, uh, when the event occurs, when the pin changed and we are high after the event, then we turn the LED off. If after the event we are low, then we turn the LED on and we set the touchpad event flag. Okay, so in the main loop, all we have to do is to check whether the touchpad event flag is 1 and then we can print uh, that the pad was touched. And what we need to do of course here also is to reset that touchpad event flag um, that we then in the interrupt service routine are ready to detect the next event. Now we're ready to test the sketch. Uh, here you see the uh, setup. The touchpad is connected to pin 2 with its output and here we have it connected to power. Uh, you also see that I'm hanging the uh, touchpad off the edge of my desk. That has to do with the fact that not only your finger triggers touch events but anything that's close to the um, capacitive sensor area. So this touchpad really needs to be removed from other objects in order to work properly. So let's see what happens when I touch it. Touch and you see the LEDs blink here. What you also see is that every time I touch it the uh, transmit light comes on. On the serial part it looks like this. So I'm turning on the serial monitor and now I touch it. So every time I touch it, it writes pad was touched. This concludes our tutorial about the touch sensor and the use of external interrupts with the Arduino. Thanks for watching.